to more welcome back to more Space Engineers programming with your host Pilot Error 42. Today I want to show you real quickly a better debugging system. Um, I had this bit here before, um, and that's all well and good, but it's even easier uh, since I've discovered that you can have multi lines on um, block names that are shows properly. So instead of using all these different blocks to do this you can just have an antenna and in your program I have some debugging code. We have a variable antenna which starts off as nothing. We have a way to reset it and this will print out a line and optionally you can tell it whether to append it or not. If you tell it not to append it, then it will um, wipe out everything that's in the debugger and replace it with you, whatever line you've sent it. And that's what the, the reset does. The reset just says debug nothing but don't append it. So it clears out the name. Um, this little bit right here makes sure that we have an antenna. It basically um, goes to the grid terminal system and gets any I my radio antenna, uh, make sure that there is one. If there is, grab the first one. Um, here we have a check to make sure we were able to get an antenna. If we can't, then obviously you don't really mean to debug because there's no antenna. Um, if the first line, if the if the name of it is already emptied out, that means that we've reset it. Um, so instead of down here. Um, we add in a, uh, a new line to the beginning, and uh, we don't want to do that um, for the first line, because then it'll be a blank line up top, and then followed by your, all your stuff. Um, so here, this is just for the first line, um, we just set the custom name to the line. Uh, over here, this is the bit that does everything. We have here, see this question mark, and this colon. Um, that is the called the ternary operator. Um, all other operators are binary, such as the equal sign it has two arguments: the thing on the left and the thing on the right. Binary two. Uh, ternary means it has three. It has one, two, and three. What it does: the first argument to the left of the question mark is a Boolean expression. In this case, it's going to be append, true or false. Um, in the case of true, comes the next thing, the thing in between the question mark and the colon. Um, here it, it uh, returns that value of the string of the current name plus a new line. Um, and the third option is the thing after the colon. In this case, it's nothing. And in this use, we take all of that and we either um, say we do or we do not want that whatever is already in the antenna as its name, and we stick the line onto that. So that's about it. That's as, it's a simple system. Um, you may be able to like pass in an array of strings or, or a list of strings so that you can have multiple line debugging, um, pass in like a string builder or stuff like that but this is just the quick and simple is how many lines is this uh, let's see 15 to 44 so it's about 30 lines it's only about 30 lines and that includes nice spacing and, and comments telling you what's up um, so it's relatively simple um, here's how you use it um, if you want to make sure that you clean out your debugger um, before you uh, debug anything just reset it um, we have first text, second text with a number, and um, line that explicitly says to repent. Um, if you want to wipe out all the previous lines, you can do that one, but it's commented out as it is. So let's do a check code to compile it, run an exit, and let's run it. So now you'll see first text, second text, and a number, line with explicit append document. It's all there, it all looks real good. Um, there is one downside to this. And that's this mess right here. Um, they're not supposed to have more than one line, so it doesn't really know how to handle it. So 
it just sort of overlays it. Um, as you can see, even though the, the text of the antenna goes over um, the assembler's text, um, whatever is supposed to be there will be the thing that you click on when you actually click on it. Um, it also looks janky up here. If you want to clear it out quickly, uh, you can do a control A to select all of it. Um, boom. And there it is back. Um, I would love to use um, one of these guys. I would love to use the uh, text panel but they didn't actually add in any way to get to the, the text. There's no dot text property, there's no, no nothing, no setter, no getter, no nothing. Um, as far as it's concerned, this just extends, it's just a, a subclass of the iTerminal block, or the iFunctional block, I forget which. Um, so it's, it's pretty useless as now, on the, the forums, they have said that they do plan on adding it in. Um, I think they also said, they're, why can I not get it to rotate onto the side of that block? Oh well. Um, they also said that they are planning on, there we go, oh, can't put it on the side. Um, planning on having a way to display the text, I believe, um, but definitely to edit the text programmatically. Um, and that'll be awesome, because then you suddenly have a clean d debugger output, you have text storage, you have um, script interoperability. Um, uh, that's all really cool. Uh, but, and when they do add that in, I'll, uh, I'll do a short little video on it. We'll explore all of the, the things that that opens up. Uh, but until then, uh, my name Pilot Era 42. It's been fun having you. Until I see ya, I'll see you around. Bye!